What's up, guys? Big D Wiz here, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today I've got a couple of packages which were shipped from the Far East. And if you watch the uh, my, some of my previous videos, you may have an idea of what may be in these packages. But uh, for those of you who haven't, let's tear in and see what's in the package. All right, so let's dive into the bigger package first. Here, a Kenter MA200. Cool. What else have we got in here? We have a Kenter MA170, I believe. Okay. What else have we got? We've got a Kenter 500 watt mini amplifier. Not sure if I got the pink one or the blue one. Kind of hope I got the blue one. What else? Still more goodies. What in the world? We have Hi Fi Stereo Amplifier. Not even sure the name brand on that one. Lots of goodies. What do we got here? Oh, looks like we have a power supply. Looks like we have cables for each one to at least. Uh, get us from the adapter to um, to the correct uh, plus and minus for each one. Well, cool. Let's we'll see what's in the other package. Alrighty, I changed my angle here, hoping that I get a little bit better light. I think it was a little dark there on the last video. Sorry about that. Still trying to work out some lighting kinks here. too then these don't look like they came in boxes so I guess these will be the first ones that I actually show you and I believe both of these are the same so I may not open both of the packages but this is the Lapai ooh this is a polished version look at that shiny blind in the camera this is a Super Bass 2.1 amplifier. And as you can see, it has a subwoofer volume and a crossover. And it has bass treble and a volume and aux input. There's the analog input RCAs. There's the speaker outputs. Wow, there's a bunch. You know why? Because there, it, this is a 2.1 amp. This has got 40 watts times two and 68 times one. <laughs> yeah, right. Can't wait to see what it actually does, but that's pretty cool. So there's the first one up on the list. Let's see what the other ones look like. All right, next up we have a Kenter. Looks like the MA170. Oh, wow. Just kind of sitting in there. Ooh, isn't it pretty? Two channel. This one is really small, a lot smaller than the other ones. I'll give you a size comparison here once I get them all open. As you can see, it's got a big volume knob, it's got bass and power button and treble. This side we have the RCA jacks, we have some residue speaker jacks and the 12 volt in. Let's check out another one. All right, and here is the 500 watt haha version from Kenter. It actually came with a little power adapter. This one looks like it's actually sealed up. Another really small amplifier, much smaller than the other ones. And I'll have to take it out of the plastic so I can show you everything it's got do that here in just a second. All right, so I scored it with my knife. Just peel into it so I can show you. There you can see the speaker jacks and the 12 volt point 5 amp. I thought that was 5 amp. <laughs> Oops. You 
can see a USB charger has a left and right input. It has a looks like a low pass filter, a high pass filter, or off. And this is the uh, volume or, or gain. Again, this is tiny. I believe this is smaller than the original Lapai I got, but we'll check. All right, up next is the unknown brand. This is just called Hi-Fi. The model is A6. Well, let's see, this one probably is closer to the original first little pie that I, that I got. Yeah, it's a little, well, maybe not. There it is. As you can see, it has the power switch, bass, the volume is large, treble, MP3 input, uh, RCA input, speaker outs, 12 volt. This one looks very similar to the Kenter. It's probably the same thing with just a different label on it. I like the little spectrum analyzer here. Not quite real time though. And just so you know, this one did, did have some semblance of a manual and this is a home theater digital amplifier. This will run your home theater. Somehow I don't think so. Now I had no idea that this one was so large and I actually think they sent me a different version than the one I ordered because this one was pretty pricey. I do remember seeing this particular one on eBay and it was like $35. And um, that is not what I ordered. But anyway, let me uh, open it up and we'll look inside and see what this joker is about. like a kid at Christmas here. Oh my goodness. Let's start on the other side. Let's see if I can get a little bit better light going on here for you. It has treble, bass, volume. It has an SD card slot. I'm assuming so you can put your SD card with MP3s on it or whatever. USB slot. It's got the controls here for forward and reverse and play and all that stuff and switching between USB and aux. And check this out. It's got an antenna on it. Uh, what the antenna is for, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm going to break it. Um, but it's got a front and sub outs. It's got the power jack there and RCA jack. So this one was a four channel one. This is again not the one that I ordered. I was trying to order them all basically the same because I was going to give you guys kind of show you the difference between all these little cheap Chinese amps. But anyway, there's a kind of an overview of all of them. I'll set them out here so you can see what all of them size differences and everything. All right, and real quick, there's one other one that I recently got in that I did not do an unboxing for you guys. This is another Lapai. You guys will get a kick out of this. This is a 700 watt amplifier fit in your pocket. And this amplifier is use Bose Power IC. Got to work on my English a little bit there, guys. So anyway, you can see this one looks very similar to the other um, LP 2020 that I got before. But I just couldn't resist with uh, with the text, and it says this has a Bose chip in it. It actually says 700 watts, whereas the other one says 550. So we'll see. That's all a joke. All right, so here you go. I've lined up all the amps. You can see them. The mini amps. The Kenter 500 watt model is here. It is the smallest, apparently. And there's the other Kenter which appears to be exact to this Tele, I can't even tell the brand, A6. And then we have the Lapai LP2020A+, the LPV3, and the one I didn't sit over here, which is the chrome polished, fancy, schmancy looking Lapai, the LP 
F-168HA, and we have the Kenter MA-200. Now I'm sure some of you guys are out there saying, what in the world are you doing, Big D, doing a video demo of these cheap Chinese amps? Well, there's a couple reasons. One being, you can't ever believe the actual power that people put on amplifiers. So I'm going to show what they really are. But the other thing is, there's just so many of these available. I just really wanted to test them all, you know, with some actual speakers and see what they sounded like and you know, see which one might be the best. There you go, guys. Big D Wiz here, OldSchoolStereo.com. In the upcoming videos in the next few weeks, I'll just I'm just going to test each one of these, you know, and, and see how they sound with speakers and and also what kind of RMS power they put out. So I know you guys prefer to see probably the old school amp tests, and I'm I'm working on those as well. Uh, unfortunately, my editing computer's hard drive died the other day, the C drive. So I've got to decide if I'm going to upgrade that or. Uh, just replace the drive. I think I'm going to upgrade. So if you guys want to help me out, you can go to oldschoolstereo.com and click on the donate button and hit me up with dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, or feeling gracious, five hundred dollars. Who cares? Something like that. Anyway, uh, I'll have more videos coming up, but I won't have any more using the Panasonic camcorder until I get my computer fixed. So it will be iPhone until then. Thanks for watching, guys. Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.